Today we're going to learn about different sizes. So here we have the first size. And this object is a circle that we learned from last video. And this object is small. So the size of this object is small. The next object looks like this, and it's also a circle. But we're going to say the size of this object is medium. And the next object is this, and it's also a circle. But this object is bigger than the last and bigger than the other one. So of these three objects, this last object is large. So we have small, medium, and large. And this first object, let's number these objects so we can call them by numbers. So the first object can be one, the second object can be two, and the third object can be three. So this first object is small because it's smaller than the second object and the third object. Now, that's why it's the small object. And the medium object is between the small and between the large. So it's the middle object in size. So this object is small, this object is medium, and the large object is the biggest, tallest object out of the three. So the first object is small because it is smaller than the other two objects. And the medium object is the middle object, and so that's why we call it the medium. It's bigger than the small one, and it's smaller than the large object. And the large object is large because it is bigger than the first object and the second object. So now let's test your skill. So we have these three objects. Let's number these objects. So the first object is going to be number one, second object is number two, and the third object is number three. So let's see. The first object seems to be the biggest. So that's probably the largest one. The second object is about fair size. And let's look at the last object. The last object looks littler than the first two objects. So we're going to assume that the second object is the middle object because it is smaller than the first object and bigger than the third object. So let's see if we're right with the second object. The second object is indeed the middle object, which would be considered the medium object. Now next we have to choose from small or large object. And so since object one seems to be bigger than object two, or object 3, we think the first object will be the large one, and the last object, object 3, will be the small one, because it is the smallest of all three objects. So indeed, the first object is the large object second object we already determined was the medium object. So the last object, object 3, which is the small list of the three, is considered the small object. Let's test our knowledge on small, medium, and large again. So here we have three objects, and we'll number them so it's easier to name them. So the first object will be number one, second object will be number two, and I can't draw the number two on the object there, and the last object will be number three. So there's number three. So this first object looks to be smaller 
than the second object. The second object seems to be larger than the first object. And the third object seems to be smaller than the second one. So we think that this object number two is probably the large one. And then object one seems to be smaller than two and seems to be smaller than three. So we believe this object is a small object. And now number three seems to be in between the first object and the second object, which is the middle one, which we know is the median object. So here are our choices to choose from. Medium, small, and large. And we already determined that the first object looks to be the small object, the second object looks to be the large one, and the third one looks to be the medium object. So let's see if our analysis is correct. The third object is indeed the medium object. And the first object is a small object. So we're right on both of those. And the middle object, which is the second object, is the large object. Let's test our knowledge one last time to make sure that we have the correct knowledge. So here's three objects, and we'll number them quickly. First object is number one, second object is number two, the last object will be number three. So we have three choices here, small, medium, and large. Now the first object seems to be good size. It's not bigger than the second object but it's bigger than the first object. So we think the first object is going to be the medium object because it is smaller than the second object and bigger than the third. So now the middle object here, object number two, we think it's going to be the large object because it is bigger than object one and bigger than object three. Object three is smaller than the first object and the second object, so we think this will be the small object. And we'll find out. Indeed, the third object is the small object. First object is the medium object, so we're right on both of those. And for the last object, object two, object two is the large object.